Hey y'all! Welcome to welcome to Readings at Woolly Shire Farm. My name's Natasha, and I have with me or joining us is the the infamous duo Honky Tonky in no particular order. That's right, Honky Tonky. And then we have their daughter Barracuda, who's definitely been uh, trying out my ears and my arms. All right. Ooh. So, thank you for, for tuning in to Woolly Shire Farm Channel today. Be sure to subscribe and pound that like button because Honky Tonky here, and I guess maybe Barracuda, would love to have you back and share in the experience of story time with all, with all the farm animals. Don't be nasty. Don't be nasty. So, I'm in a little bit of trouble as you can see here. So, Tommy and I, we've, we've been away for a few, just a few days. We, we, had, we had a weekend getaway at, a, at Silver Hearth Lodge in Benton Mountain, Virginia. Now, the reason we were there, I mean, I have a perfectly good reason why we left. So, two of our pals, um, they tied the knot over the weekend. So, big shout out to Bob and Ashley. Oh, you want to know what Silver Hearth Lodge is? I'll tell you. Well, it's owned and operated by those two lovebirds. And it is the only private mountaintop wedding venue in the southeast. So, as you can imagine, I don't know that you've ever been on a mountaintop, but as you can imagine, the views accompanied by the mountain air, it was just as sweet as their romance. <laughs> Woo! Ooh, that, that, that was cheesy. So, to make, up, to make up for my time away, it's only right that I read a story, right? And, you know, they also threatened me with my life whenever I came back there. They're in the driveway doing this. So, um, I, I promised to make it up to them by reading, by reading a story. So, we're going to read Friends, which I'm hoping that's, that's what we can be again, right? Friends, and it's written by Catherine Cave, and it's illustrated by Nick Mallon. So, without further ado, let's get started. Are you already taking a nap? You better get up here in the story. Let's see. You better get over here. I'm gonna read. All right, you ready? I said without further ado, and then I, then, then I delayed it. All right. Oh, is the book scary? It's not scary. It's just a book. Once I was lost in the wood, in the wood, and you found me. Once I fell down, I hurt my knee, you put your arms around me. So for you guys, just pinch me. Once I was shy, and I didn't know where to go until you saw me. Yeah, is that true? That's true. Once I was slow, I couldn't catch up. You waited for me. You waited for me. How are you doing, Barracuda? Once I was afraid of the dark, of the dark, and the creatures that hid there. You didn't laugh, and it wasn't so bad with you at my side there. Look at them playing sh shadows there, making shadow puppets. Once I got cross, I really loved or honked. You got cross too and honked. Look at that. Sometimes we get in arguments. Sometimes we disagree, right? Sometimes we disagree. When I stopped being cross, I felt sad and alone, and I thought I'd lost you. But I hadn't. Want to be friends? Okay. If you are lost, if you are lost in the wood, in the wood, I will find you. If you're afraid of the cold and the dark, I'll sit beside you. I'll wait for you, I'll share with you, I'll comfort you, and I'll care for you the way you cared for me. That's what friends do. Put them selling away together. Hot air ballooning it. The end. 
Now, honky tonky, I need you to get lost. I'll hear you. Uh, okay, all right. No, don't bite me. Why are you biting me? The story's over. I'll read again. Woo! Don't bite me. Let's see. We got big old honky tonky right there. I'll find you. Well, I have. I hope you enjoyed spending time with these honking buffoons as much as I did. Okay, I didn't. I'm the buffoon. I didn't call you the buffoon. Ooh, she's sassy. So, if you haven't already, pound that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future shenanigans. <laughs> And you know, Honky Tonky, they love reading your comments. And you know, they haven't been able to read in the last couple days because I've been gone. So be sure you continue to lavish your praise upon them. Did I say that right? Was that lavish your pra their praise on you? Yeah, they're like, I'm just going to go to sleep on it. So be sure to tune in tomorrow evening as uh, we're going to switch things up. You know, it's July here, and we're going to start celebrating Christmas in July here this last week. And, you know, it's going to be really hot. So I'm hoping it makes it feel a lot cooler here on the, on the farm. So till next time, bye, y'all.